I've been down at St Paul's quite a bit recently um, because that protest is one that I really feel in my heart is a wonderful thing. What I like about it, and I don't understand about it, but I like about it, is the way that it's attracted support from the wider world in a way that a peace camp might not have done or an anti-war camp might not have done. And I guess the reason it's done that is because there are an awful lot of people who are feeling very bruised by the way that the world's financial systems are doing them a poor deal. And so they can't help but feel, yeah, hang on, it is time somebody stood up and protested and said, why is it that we allow ourselves to be bled dry for our mortgages and through our credit cards and we have to work like Billy O and then consider ourselves lucky if we've even got a job, while the whole time there are other people taking all the investments that we've made and the savings that we've made for our security and gambling them wildly on hedge fund investments. I understand that. And I also understand that it's time somebody said something. And I'm not really doing much of the same, but I'm doing some supporting. And I've been down there and um, I'm going down again. In fact, if they're still there on the, the 11th of the 11th, I might even go and um, invite them to join in a little something that I'm trying to prepare for that day. I think the whole world ought to be thinking at that time about how it wants to evolve and move on. But I see that whole Occupy London, Occupy Wall Street, the, all the various occupations that are taking place around the world as a glorious manifestation of shared consciousness bubbling up and saying, oh look, now we're going to do something, now we're going to say something, now we're going to wave our hands in the air and say, hello, can this be right? And I think it's wonderful that people are doing this and I want to put my hand up too.